and given a graph of f prime, we want to sketch f given that f is continuous and that f of 0 is equal to 3. So the first thing to note about the graph of f prime here is that it's pretty much composed of just horizontal line segments. So we need to kind of think about how that fits into the big picture of derivatives. What's happening here is, if I'm on a horizontal line segment, remember a horizontal line segment is just y equal to a constant. So here we're saying f prime of x is equal to some number n. If I take the antiderivative of this, well, a constant integrates up to m times x, and then I throw in constant of integration. So if you notice, our function is exactly a straight line. Not only that, it's a straight line with slope m. Okay, this is no surprise, because recall f prime, the first derivative, just gives us the slope of the tangent line to f at our point. If I'm talking about an actual line, the tangent line is the line itself. So the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the actual line. The way we use the continuous condition, that's just going to tell us as we keep moving from one segment to the next, for the graph of f, we're just keeping the dots connected. Let's take a look. If I break down what the graph of f prime says, that says as I go from 0 to 2, my slope is minus 1. As I go from 2 to 3, my slope is 3. As I go from 3 to 4, my slope is 2. We're also given f of 0 is equal to 3. So I'll plot that point, and now we just follow our nose. So from 0 to 2, the slope is minus 1. So I just want to draw in the line segment that corresponds to that slope going through my point 0, 3. So I'm going to go, slope minus 1 says if I go over by 1, I go down by 1. Go over by 1, go down by 1, and we wind up with the point 2, comma 1, draw the line segment in. As I move to the segment from 2, 3, we notice that the slope is 3, so that'll mean if I start at my point 2, 1, slope equal to 3 says if I go over 1, then I have to go up 3. So that's going to wind up at 3, comma 4. Draw my line in, keeping the dots connected. As I go from 3 to 4, the slope is 2. So that means if I go over 1, then I have to go up by 2, bringing me to the point 4, comma 6. We draw the line in, keeping everything connected. And then that leaves me with my graph of f.